Hey, y'all, ch- check this out from my guy, uh, Asian Mai. Check out what he has to say. I don't give a shit how long you've been trucking, and I'm here to tell you that you probably have no money saved up. And the ones that do, you're looking at me like, oh boy, this dude's about to go in on it. And I'm here to really tell you guys that if you don't have a game plan, you will have no money saved up at the end of this journey. That's what's up. That is what's up. What's going on, y'all? Lockout men back again with another podcast responding to comments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is what's up. What's going on, y'all? If you guys like uh, interviews or if you guys like videos or content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell along with that all button. That is what's up. I am here. Today is Thursday. The weekend will be officially here at midnight and i am here sitting at a truck stop waiting to go home damn it man but while i'm waiting to go home i thought i'd get on youtube and and surf the web and see if there's anything of interest and uh i think i i I think i came across a couple of good things yes sir i came across a couple of good things my man, Asian Mai. Yeah, let me bring him up right quick. My man, Asian Mai, right here from the Asian Mai Show. Definitely go check this brother out. This is a cool dude. Lots of information. Good content. And this, this brother right here, not only does YouTube, not only is he a trucker, but he's an investment guy. He's, he's a restaurant entrepreneur. This dude is all around all around it guy i gotta get him on the show i definitely do asian my here's my hand out to you man we talked before and we collab with each other before but this time let's get it going let's get it going bruh he says in this video right here which we about to respond to comments right quick we just gonna jump right into it we ain't gonna be bullshitting around you guys don't want no 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 10 15 20 minute opening y'all want me to get right into the y'all you just want me to dive right in right so he said why 99 percent of truckers truck drivers has no money no money exactly no money no money mm. and i agree i agree 99 percent of truck drivers out here don't have no money they've been in the game for all these years for all these years and they don't have nothing to show for it i myself almost fell into it i almost fell into it i've been out here for five years and my bank isn't the way that it needs to be and that's because of a lot of bad decisions i.e casinos but that's be you know that's something that i'm gonna have to break for real i'm gonna have to break it i'm gonna have to get some ricola going on right quick but uh, i'm gonna have to break it though for real wait i could have sworn i could have sworn i had some water somewhere hold on right quick i do got some water hold on had to wet my whistle and quench that thirst that is what's up let's get back at it man so he says 99 percent of truck drivers don't have money and it's unfortunate that a lot of truck drivers that been out here in the business for all these years really don't have nothing to show for it basically what it is now is that you guys is working paycheck to paycheck and that shouldn't be the reason to get into this type of industry now this industry right here you can make money there's money to be made especially if you're a young jack coming into the game and you don't have no responsibilities no no finance responsibilities or nothing all you got to do is save your money come out here drive for about three four months bank that money go and rest 
come back out, <clears throat> come back out here, drive for another three months, bank that money, go and rest. Come back out here, bank that money, go and rest. That's what you need to do. That's what you need to do. And at the end of it all, you will have something to show for it. You definitely will. Let's get into it right here. Let's 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 just jump right into it right quick. All right, Kurt Gibbs says, "Rule one: Don't think money is going to burn a hole in your pocket when you're out on the road twelve out of fourteen days. Why the heck do you think people need a brand new fifty thousand dollar personal vehicle? Eat healthy, eat smart, eat economical. I spend less than fifty dollars a week on food." Exactly. Especially if you have a refrigerator in your truck, there should, well, I'm, I'm going to have to follow my own advice because there should be no reason, no reason at all, especially if you have a refrigerator in your truck, that you should be spending money eating out unless you want to just treat yourself every once in a while. Go to Walmart, stock up on your food. Have it for the week. If you're a truck driver that does regional like myself and it's only out for a week and you're home on a the weekend, then you stock up on your food for the week and boom, that's an extra $10, $15, $20 right there that you're saving right there. And of course, like I said, I got to, me, I know, I got to uh, take my own advice, which, which I am. I mean, I got a whole bunch of fruit. I got a little bit of meat in there that I'm about to finish up. As a matter of fact, I'm fiending for some shrimp right now. And there's a Walmart right down the street. So am I going to go ahead and take advantage of that? Yes, I am as soon as I get finished with this podcast. And we're going to get, I, I, I'm going to get some shrimp, man. I'm going to get some shrimp. DNA, DNA says too many thousandaires trying to keep up and live like millionaires. No need to impress people that you don't know or like. Exactly. Who you are impressing? The only people that you should be impressing is your family if you have it. You know, your wife, your kid, or if even if you don't have a wife or kid. You're supposed to be impressing yourself. That's what it's all about. It's all about you. You're the only one in the truck. You're the only one that's doing the damn thing. You're the only one that's, that's sacrificing. So... You're the one that's that's looking out for you. Stack your bread, bro. Chris says, PSA to all newcomers living off truck food, truck stop food. It's going to destroy your wallet as well as your health. The nonsense is straight up to bear straight up to bear trap that snags a lot of drivers and have them living paycheck to paycheck. Budget plan. Get your ass to a Costco, Walmart. Stop giving Pilot Petro the money that you work for. Booyah. Booyah. Round of applause. Hold on. Let me make sure is that the right one. Yes, sir. Round of applause for that. Stop living paycheck to paycheck. Stop giving Love's Petro uh, Pilot your money. Because the fools, the fools at the truck stops are garbage. I just got finished talking to my man Bandit. Tell me what was that Bandit or was that Brittany? It was one of the two. But tell me why, why there is a freaking uh, fast food restaurant in every freaking loves. Back in the day, it used to be an IHOP at a few loves. Now that's gone. They turning it into a Taco John. Another fast food restaurant. At least that restaurant was right there that you could sit down, get <clears throat> sit down and get some good food. You know, like you could do at a at a Petro or something like that. But there's there's hardly ever ever sit down restaurants at these major stops. Maybe a few Petros. All right, there was one where I was at that had a nice. Uh, what was that had a nice restaurant in there, and it wasn't even it wasn't um, it wasn't uh, it it wasn't a iron skillet. Now Denny's, I'm beginning to hate Denny's. My 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 last interaction with Denny's wasn't all that hot, man. I <laughs> that's a whole another story in itself. Uh, right Mal says, I'm single, 22, 
no kids. I live in my truck until I can get a line haul gig. 23K in the bank, 6K in my in my Roth IRA. I've done I done that in 1.5 years out on the road. I say that it can't be done unless you're single with no kids. You have to make major sacrifices to build up a savings making 55k a year. Rent car rent and car payments are a no-go. Save save up for a down payment and rent out the extra rooms. Listen to Dave Ramsey. I'm not sure who Dave Ramsey is, but he's exactly right. Especially if you don't have no kids, you're not married, you don't have no responsibilities, save up your money and use that money to build your money. Like if you want to go and buy a house, buy the house, rent it out and make extra money. Sounds good to me, right? I need to be taking all these advices. I'm for real. Uh, Zach, Zach says it's because it's completely legal for truck drivers to not be paid for everything they do. Private fleets are the answers, my friend. Well, hey, get at me and let me know who these private fleets are so we can get paid for everything that we do. I mean, I just talked to, I, I talked to my dude and we're not paid for all the miles that we drive. We're not paid for on duty time. We're, we're just not paid for any extra stuff that we're not, that, that we do. You know, as long as the wheels like that first 15, 20 minutes, <clears throat> that first 15, 20 minutes that you do for a preacher, we're not paid that 15, 20 minutes that we do for uh, for post trip. We're not paid in between that. When the wheels is turning, we're paid. We get to a shipper or a receiver. We walk in. We take care of the paperwork. We we sign off. We do all that. All that stuff. We're not paid. As soon as as soon as we drive off that lot and the wheels turn, we're paid. So yes, we need to get paid for everything that we do. Everything that we do. That's why I say you got to do your homework when researching these companies to see who will pay you what. That's my advice. Zero says money management is the key, but let's not act like all drivers make money. I'm good, but I know a lot of hardworking drivers bring less than a grand a week. People in the comments should be less judgmental because you never know what your future holds, especially mega companies that take a total advantage of their drivers and their driver's time. Exactly. They do. They do. You know, these major companies take advantage of the drivers. Again, that's what I was talking about as far as getting paid for all the miles that you run. You're supposed to get paid for all the miles that you run, not zip code to zip code, all miles. Out of out of 100 miles, you only get paid like 80, per, I mean, 80 miles out of 100. That's 20 miles being left on the table. This 20 miles being left on the table, bro. And you're not getting that. You can go and fight and you could be like, yo, I typed in, I typed in the address, the address that ran McNally, and it says 1,250 miles. But the miles that you giving me is 1,150. I'm leaving a hundred miles on the table. Now, when I worked for JNR Schwugel. We could not run the, the, the turnpike. We couldn't run it at all. But the miles that they would calculate would calculate the turnpike. But we would have to go around the turnpike because we wasn't authorized to take the turnpike, adding on additional miles and time that we're not getting paid for. And that's not fair. R. Randy says, <clears throat> That was my problem, saving money on the road, spending my pay on stuff I didn't really need. I got to plan ahead and have cash available should I have a breakdown. Yeah, that's that's my problem as well. I mean, that's that's my problem as well. I hit the casinos, man. I hit the casinos and I get into situations that that really messes up my bank. You know what I'm saying? 
And since I learned that, I started cutting back. You know, I mean, I didn't cut it out completely, but I started cutting back and I started seeing my wealth grow. So maybe if I cut it out completely, I will see a big change. But I can't cut it out completely because that's like my little slice of heaven, I guess, while I'm out on the road. You know what I'm saying? But I have cut back and I have seen a change in my uh, in my bank. So let's see. Mr. Paritis says i'm a four i'm i'm 40 year old single no kids i make 40k a year i drive a 2001 tahoe and live in a 96 rv which i currently park on the street i have 600 i have 600 in my checking account 2k in my stock account and 13k in credit card debt Every February when I get my W, I mean, when I get my 1099 or W-2, I'm like, what the fuck? I always been financial irresponsible, but I never failed this shit before. If you are 10, 20 years younger than me, this will be you if you don't get your shit straight. Exactly. Exactly. And it's unfortunate that when you get into a financial situation, it is real hard to get up out of it. It is. It's real hard to get up out of financial situation if you find yourself in a, in a rut. You know, if I got like like 40K in debt, you know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's the problem with debt. That's how debt works. You know, they give you a credit card like, yo, pay now. I mean, buy now, pay later. And then you be like, oh, okay, well, I want that $1,000 TV. Oh, okay, I'll go ahead and sign up for, for a credit card so I can get it now, pay later. Then when I get the TV, I'm happy that I'm enjoying the TV, but now the bills is coming in. Like, yo, okay, well, we gave you the opportunity to get the TV now, but now you got to start paying. Now that $1,000 is $1,500 because we lent you our money and we want a little bump up top. But if you pay back within six months, then you don't have to worry about that. But also what you have to worry about is how much you do, how much to pay a thousand dollars. They like, oh, OK, well, a thousand dollars. Just give us thirty five dollars a month Man, thirty five dollars a month ain't going to put a fucking dent in that. And you know it, you know it. But you're going to pay it because you like, oh, well, all I got to just pay is thirty five dollars a month and I'm good. And I paid the next day and then the next day and the next day. And then the bills just get more and more and more. And then you try to you try to put a little bit on here. You try to rob Peter to pay Paul. All that good stuff. You gotta learn now, bro. <clears throat> you gotta learn now. Don't get don't don't get don't get uh don't get in the situation. Jules Winford says or Winfield says I've been listening to Dave Ramsey and Chris Hogan. I got to find out who those two guys are. They really, they give really sound advice on money management. It's a new day. It's a new decade, motherfuckers. Do this shit right. It is a new decade. And I asked you guys before, are you, are, are, it's, it's three months, three months down, three months down, nine months to go. Let me see. Yeah, nine months to go. Are you are are you financially set now? I mean, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be. Uh, Trucker Josh V Laws, what's going on, Trucker Josh? This is great advice. You always have to plan financially. You yeah, you got to plan financially. You got to plan financially. You got to plan for your future because. Maybe one day you don't want to be driving no more, you know, and in order to stop driving, you got to have some money saved up so you can have something else going on. I'm just saying. All right. All right. Well, that's about it. I'm going to have to end this right quick because I am running out of space on my memory card. 
God damn it, man. God, I'm running out of space. It just let me know. It says, yo, you're running out of space, bro. So you're going to have to pick this, pick up the pace. So, guys, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell. Hit that bell. Hit that bell for more content like this. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I said that already. Damn, I'm just rambling. But if you guys want to come on and talk to me, yo, hit me up in the Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. Or hit me up in the DM over in Instagram. Or just leave your comments and I'll get back at you. Yo, I appreciate all you guys, what y'all do for the channel. I really do appreciate you watching. And I will come back at you with another podcast video. You guys stay blessed out there. Peace.